Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part 6, module 6 data communication. So we were discussing the circuit switching concepts so far. Now we will see some of the switch configurations. So uh, one straightforward approach is what is called a space division switching or a space division switch and it will be looking like this. It's a kind of uh, direct connection you can see. So here we have a say, uh, you can count here, we have 10 input lines and uh, 10 output lines or uh, in general 10 IO input output lines and uh, this uh, connecting points are actually called a crossbar okay so it is something called as a crossbar switch also so here we have uh, the connection points uh, called a cross uh, some kind of crossbar and this is to be closed to have a connection something like that so now suppose this particular um, input uh, from uh, the or the one which is connected here want to communicate with the and this particular I mean the third uh, column like that uh, the first row want to communicate with the th third column that means to the first column a device say a device a will be connected and to this particular line the third um, vertical line some destination will be connected so destination uh, device to is to be connected to the output line and the one who is sending the information should be connected to the input line like that now uh, so we taken an example where to the uh, to this particular row one uh, the, uh, the center is connected and to this column 3 the receiver is connected now you can see all these cross parts uh, like uh, this one this one this one and uh, all those which are in the uh, third vertical line uh, has to be closed to have this communication between uh, this particular center and the receiver so this is the kind of configuration we have but you can see that uh, see it's very um, I mean internally we have we need uh, that many cross points okay so how many cross points are needed in this example there will be 10 by 10 right so there we need a hundred cross points so that kind of a complex circuit it is but we can reduce this number of cross point if we think of a different um, kind of switching strategy called a multi-stage stage switch that we will see after this so space division switching uh, as its name implies uh, a space division switch is one in which the signal path are physically separate from one another and in the pre previous figure you can see that between every pair of uh, input and output there will be a dedicated path and that is not being shared by others okay so each connection requires the establishment of a physical path through the switch that is dedicated uh, solely to transfer the uh, transfer to the signal between two endpoints. So I mean um, through the switch we have some dedicated uh, cross points actually uh, um, on the physical path with connecting the center and the receiver. So the basic building block of this uh, particular switch is a metallic, a metallic cross point or a semiconductor gate that can be enabled and disabled by a control unit. So simply you can close it and open it. Uh, uh, when you want to uh, have your communication you can uh, open the switch and you can uh, connect to the uh, other one and uh, once the uh, connection is uh, tear down phase uh, occur the simply it will be closed like that so using a uh, symbol uh, i mean mm, control unit uh, we can enable and disable that particular cross point the figure shows a symbol cross uh, bars matrix with the 10 full duplex uh, input output lines in the sense full duplex um, both the way right so 10 input and 10 output together 10 simply full two plus connection like that we can say uh, now the matrix is 10 input and 10 output together we call as 10 full two plus IO, IO line okay so each station attaches to the matrix via one input and one output line if it want to send the information it should be connected to the input line and if you want to receive it has to be connected to the output line like that so for every uh, end subscriber i mean and device the, it, there should be a connection to the input and output uh, as per the requirement now the interconnection is possible between any two lines by enabling the appropriate cross point like uh, um, what we already seen now here you can see that there are 100 cross points for this 10 by 10 configuration so that is something um, costly right now limitations of the crossbar switch of course the number of cross points grow with the square of the number of attached devices in the previous case 10 devices are being attached i mean every device is connected to an input and an output port so that is why uh, even though we have a 10 uh, input and 10 output port mm, and two ports will be used by single devices 10 devices are connected but how many cross points were there 10 square i mean uh, 100 cross points were there so you can see that the number of cross points grows with the square of the number of attached uh, stations so this is a costly solution right costly for a large switch 
so the loss of uh, uh, cross point uh, also if something happened to this particular uh, cross point a single uh, failure will disturb the entire communication because that particular pair of devices uh, not uh, the communication is not possible right the loss of a cross point prevents the connection between the two devices whose lines intersect at that cross point so it is some kind of predefined connection that is a problem so the cross points are inefficiently utilized also because you know 100 cross points were there and at any time even though all the 10 devices are active how many cross points are uh, utilized actually so even when all the attached devices are active i mean either it will be in the center mode or in the receiver mode okay all the 10 devices are active in the sense uh, n at the same time or it may be in both modes also in that case also only a small fraction of the cross points are engaged so utilization is not there so we have a uh, the uh, second category of switch called the multi-stage switch and here we have an example for a three-stage switch okay and this you can generalize to any number of stages and in general we call it as a multi-stage switch and here you can see that in the first stage we have uh, two switches used uh, and which are 5 by 2 and 5 by 2 so totally how many cross points are here here we have a 10 cross points right 5 by 2 switch and here we have another 10 cross point similarly we have a four such 5 by 2 switches okay uh, here 5 by 2 two such 5 by 2 switches and two 2 by 5 switches and in between we have a 2 by 2 switches uh, that also two in number but it, it can, you can increase or decrease as per your requirement but it is a more flexible uh, uh, way of uh, connection compared to the uh, the space division uh, the uh, connection that we already seen okay and you can see uh, the how the connection is established here for example device 5 want to communicate with the uh, device 2 what it can do uh, see uh, this is directly connected to on, on input port and from that input port now it made a connection to the input port of this particular 2 by 2 switch now um, this is uh, these two cross points are connected and finally from this again there is a connection to the input port of this particular switch because it is a 2 by 5 switch means two inputs and five outputs and from that finally uh, all these cross points are connected and it will be connected to the output uh, um, port towards that particular end machine too in that way this blue lines you can see that uh, the uh, the particular some active connections are shown there okay so that, that is the thing and now we you can see here that we have uh, some alternative also i mean to the same point in means here we have uh, from phi to to you used this path but at the same time if you want you can make use of see this one and you can come here and from here you can go and you can go to two like uh, more than one uh, paths are also possible and that is not the case with our previous crossbar switch okay so that kind of flexibility is here and also you can see how many cross points are here here also we have 10 inputs and 10 outputs but all together how many cross points were there here we have a 5 by 2 switch right so 10 cross point here we have another 10 cross point again 10 10 so totally 40 cross point now in between we have here we have four cross point here we have four cross point so totally we have only 48 cross points uh, in comparison to the previous case where we have 100 cross points but it is ineffectively so in this way you can uh, configure uh, but uh, as there is no dedicated connection suppose uh, say if uh, five and uh, two they are connected by means of this so all these cross points are engaged at this point so if someone else want to use the same set of cross point the uh, call may be blocking that is a problem here but in the previous case it is always uh, providing non-blocking communication because we have a dedicated uh, cross point connection between every pair due to that hundred cross points because here we don't have that much so some of the calls may be blocked also so th that is a problem here so in general we can generalize that three stages switch to what what we call as a multi-stage switch so to overcome the limitations of the crossbar switch uh, that is the number of cross points are being increased as square of the number of uh, input uh, output i mean uh, devices attached so that is a problem we see in there uh, to overcome that the multi-stage stage switches are employed now the figure shows uh, an example of a three stage switch uh, in the previous diagram now this arrangement has two advantages over a single stage crossbar matrix like what we already seen so the number of cross points is reduced considerably right increasing the crossbar utilization okay 48 and for that 48 is getting utilized fully so in the example the total number of cross point for 10 stations the same 10 station is reduced to now 100 to 48 so there is more than one path 
that is another thing uh, also possible in the network to connect it to end points that will increase the reliability if it is there if it is not there accordingly reliability is to be compromised but in the uh, case of a single stage crossbar uh, switch uh, with 100 cross points if some of the cross points are failed accordingly that particular uh, pair of device can't communicate and th because there is only a single path right such a problem is not here so of course a multi stage network uh, requires a more complex control scheme because uh, on the way you can see uh, in the diagram itself how complex uh, in a, it's not a dedicated uh, kind of connection right we will see the availability so whichever is free accordingly we will uh, use address every everything and we will uh, have that connection so that control unit which is taking care of the connection will be struggling with a bit so to establish a path in a single stage network it is uh, only necessary to enable a single gate uh, like uh, uh, because uh, uh, we don't have uh, some multiple switches a single switch is there Sing simply by using a single switch with 100 cross point we are having that connection but in the previous uh, three stages which we saw that we have uh, some three stages of switches right so that is why we have that difficulty so it means in a multi-stage network a free path uh, through the stages uh, must be determined and uh, appropriate gates are to be enabled so first we have to determine a free path that involves some time and once it is determined and uh, you have to enable connection between uh, multiple intermediate uh, switches so uh, more th i mean uh, through appropriate gates more than one connection uh, on the way is needed so a consideration with the multi-stage space division uh, switch is that it may be blocking that is another thing right in a single stage switch um, that 100 uh, cross bar switch that kind of a configuration 100 uh, percentage you can ensure that the communication is non-blocking if all the cross bar uh, cross points are working fine okay but here it may be blocking also so it should be clear from the figure uh, for a single stage crossbar like that 100 cross point that uh, that diagram uh, that is given in slide number 21 uh, it is uh, always non-blocking that that is sure right that is a path is always available to connect an input uh, and an output uh, and because 100 cross points are there uh, it is always straightforward there. so that uh, this may not be the case for a multi-stage switch uh, as we already seen the slide number 24 <coughs> sometimes uh, it may uh, it is not possible for uh, some of the pair of devices to be connected because the path uh, all possible paths are being engaged but more than one paths is also possible that will increase the reliability even so the, the heavier lines in the figure shows uh, the lines which are already in use and uh, if someone else want the same uh, line it may be disturbed so a multi switch switch can be uh, made non blocking definitely by increasing the number or size of the intermediate switches but of course this increases the overall cost also so you can simply make it more uh, effective i mean non blocking but if you increase the number of switches between them of course the number of cross points will increase and finally it will uh, in ideal case it will converge to single stage switch but of course it will involve uh, cost so that about the uh, type of switching configuration and typically we are having this multi-stage switches in our mm, current network because single stage uh, is some kind some kind of ideal solution and that is not practical that is a scenario and you can see in the figure we saw a very small example where we have just a three st stage switch but in reality it may be it may not be like a uh, this small number it will be very huge complex uh, multi-stage switch you can imagine okay so with this we are winding up our discussion on circuit switching concept as a whole next part we will move on to the uh, the, uh, the current uh, ter technology that is the packet switching concept and with uh, some citation to like uh, what makes packet switching attractive okay in that way we will proceed our discussion okay thank you